hello my dears in this video we are going to be constructing the she shed we've got a little sentiment here craft room forever housework whenever and this rose bush and we've got these doors and windows and tulips another little sentiment there and this lovely looking roof right let's take the roof off and see what happens Ta -da! we've got this two tiered explosion box uh, on the outer panels we've got uh, various cupboards and storage and desks and scissors and shelves and notions and a sewing machine all sorts of things going on in there here you've got some uh, nice patterned uh, paper that you can add something else to if you wanted to photographs or more pockets or whatever and on the inner tier we've got these four pockets we've got these beautiful panels i love uh, these color combinations together i think they're working really really well and we've got all these little fussy cut tags as well a ball of wool a pile of fabric in this one we've got scissors ribbons washi tape <laughs> attention to junk journaling detail there for you folks and we've got a stack of papers. Uh, we've got a box full of craft magazines. Oh, we've got a box of coloured pencils in there as well. And in this one, we've got uh, an angle poise lamp, some craft glue, an embroidery hoop and a sewing machine. And they live in that pocket there. And in this central box, you can pop whatever you want. Let me just fiddle with this and get this out. There's a little journal in there at the moment. You could put sweets or a little bit of uh, craft notions or whatever in there. So that is the She Shed explosion box. And the lid goes on quite nicely, just like that. So come with me and let's put this lovely thing together. Here we are then. I've got all my pages cut out. I'm on 250 gram throughout. Um, I reverse printed some pages and left some pages blank. I'll go through those with you now. You need to reverse print using page seven. You need to reverse print page one, page two, page four, page five. That's it. That's it. The others leave, um, leave blank. OK, let's make a start. I'll pop all these pages over here. Now, I've cut out on a Cricut machine. You get these files in both JPEG uh, and PNG. If you want to use a cutting machine, you can do. Uh, so I've done that. And I've also scored this time, so you don't have to watch me scoring everything on my, on my little machine. Uh, so I've got this page here, which I'm going to start with. I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to turn... Uh, fold these pages in on themselves like that. You've got little score lines to follow, so you've got two there. Then you've got these two pages here, this, the front and the back of the shed, with a little score line running across there. So we'll get those folded inwards like that. We're going to flip this over, we're going to pop some glue on our little tabs. more and then I'm going to pop these pieces on I think I'll do it this way around actually makes a bit more sense centralize that pop it on <laughs> look at that it looks so nice <laughs> there and that's the beginning of our she shed our she shed she sells she sheds uh, right what are we doing next we're going to put some matting panels on these and that is let's have a look on my computer that is page three what have i done with my page three here it is uh, we've got these two big matting panels on page three 
that are going to go here. And we've also got a little load more matting panels, which are on page six, and they haven't been reverse printed. It's the two larger ones with the um, with the images on of the craft tables that you want. I've got a bit of a black line going on around mine. I think I'll ink up my edges and lose that black line, or I could trim that off. I think I'll ink. I'll ink there and I'm going to glue these pieces on all the way around the edge doesn't matter which side these two pieces go on you've got uh, a little border all the way around so centralize that ditto this one <laughs> My gluing leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> there. And then we've got these two side ones. Again, it doesn't matter which side they go on. That one. This one that's looking nice. Look, here's our shed. Looking, oh, it looks really lovely. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, where to next, dears? I think we'll move on to uh, these pages on page four. Uh, you want to be gluing like that. So we can go ahead and do this. And like I say, I have pre-scored mine. If you want to go uh, and do that before you start putting this together, it's always a good idea. Uh -huh. I'll just reposition this slightly. So I haven't got any white showing at the edges. There we go. And now I can pop my matting panels on here. And my matting panels are these little panels here. I think I'll ink because I've got a little bit of a, a black border showing. And I'll glue these four matting panels in place. They're square. So it doesn't matter which way around they go. Uh, let's check out that pattern. That pattern looks to be pretty universal as well. So centralise that and pop it on. And the same with the other three. There we are. That's those glued on. Uh, let's pop the pockets on now. You've got four pockets. Here they are. They've got little uh, labels on them. Just for a bit of whimsy, really. You don't have to uh, pop specific things in those labels. So you're just going to fold. You've got some crease lines you can see. Now I've overshot, um, let's bring that a little closer so you can see, I've overshot the pattern a little bit so you don't get any white showing on that nice little folded edge there. So make sure you follow the little lines or where these V's meet up there. So we'll glue one of those on. And I'll do the other four off camera, the other three off camera. So I'm going to fold this all in together. Pop my glue on. Ordinarily, obviously, I'd let that go a little tacky. But we'll pop it on now. And the pocket is going on uh, with a little bit of a border there. It's not going right up against the bottom or against the sides. There, look how pretty that's starting to look. Right, I'll do the other three. There we go, they're on, they look lovely. I'm really happy with this choice of um, 
the choice of patterns that I chose to use. Oh, when I'm designing, I can't begin to tell you how long uh, it takes me sometimes to do that. I go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards to see what works together. And that's looking really great. Very happy with that. Now let's move on to the actual box that sits in the middle. Um, we've got quite a lot of scoring to do. If I grab something narrow to show you. A crochet hook it would seem uh, uh, you've got a long score line going down here on both sides you've got all these tabs to score as well so when you've scored you can fold your little tabs into the middle and the larger pieces as well, the sides of the box. Reinforce those score lines into folds like that. And then when you've done that, you can begin to glue. And you're gluing these four tabs at the sides to begin with. And it's always a good idea to let your glue go tacky so you get an instant grab, but you've still got a little bit of wiggle room. Just give that a moment. And form this now into a box. I haven't inked my edges. Look, I'll do that afterwards. go that's our box made make sure your all your corners are nice and sharp at 90 degrees and they butt up nicely together and then you can glue down these tabs here and uh, these at the top are really just to strengthen your box shape and also to give you a nice folded edge which looks nicer than just a, a blank piece of um, just a single piece there. <laughs> Haven't let these go tacky, so I'm going to be faffing about with those for a little while. But I might as well crack on and get these pieces here, which appear on page three. And these are your little matting panels for the sides of the box. And I'm going to ink these up first. And I can glue these on. Now I've got four flower images, so obviously they need to be facing in the right direction. The base is towards the bottom of the box. Oh my gosh, that looks nice, looks nice. There we are, that's our box. And press those down now. There, that looks lovely. And that is going to glue into the centre of this piece here, but we might as well go ahead and construct this thing now. So I'm going to glue onto the back of this piece here, the central section, just within our fold lines there. Make sure I get lots of glue on this one. And pop this on. centralize it all so I've got an equal border going around all these sides and I can stick that down and there we have one of the tiers of our exploding box lovely and now I can glue my box onto the center and again plenty of glue on this one <laughs> and a little ASMR for those who enjoy that. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. And I can glue my box in the middle. You can see better than I can at the moment if I'm getting this on straight. Hang on. Yeah, that looks to be about right. Okay, there we are. The box is on. It's looking lovely. 
uh, what should we do next? I think we'll move on to the lid. Here are our roof pieces. We've got two pieces that sit like this, one on top of the other. Uh, and I've made my score line here and here. Here and here. And they're just going to fold in half the top section of roof is going to glue on to the bottom section of roof so we can go ahead and do that and it's a good idea to have these a little bit creased when you do this so that they sit nicely if you glue them on first and then fold you're obviously dealing with two layers of card and you get a little bit of an issue in this fold here so if you do them like that it's all going to go tickety-boo and this piece here uh, this little strip here you don't have to use it but it's a nice little finishing touch i think i'm folding this i haven't scored i'm just folding this in half it's a bit fiddly to score on my little uh, machine so i'm folding that in half i'm popping some glue on both sides there and then pop in my little I don't know what these this bit's called on a roof let me know if you know and I'm sticking that on could have inked that first as well but I didn't <laughs> And I've inked a little bit of that, so I'll ink these final edges there. Oops. There we go. I'll let that dry and we'll move on. There we are. Let's move on to the, uh, the end sections, the actual box shape for the roof now. Uh, for this one, you've got uh, score lines here, just inside this wood pattern down this tab here, along here, you've got to score and fold there and down these two pieces here. If you're using a scoring board to do this, try not to go too far down uh, or at all onto this section here. And you've got one at the bottom there and you've got two of those. So once you've scored, you can fold everything in to the underside. I like this. And when you've got these two, the, all these folds made, uh, you can glue one of these tabs to the end here. So you're making this one long shape now. Line those up nicely. And fold all of these round. Glue this tab and pop it on the other end like this. You can do that flat if you want to, like that, look. And then when you bring this up, you form your box shape. So let's look at sticking the roof on next. So we're going to fold these angled tabs over bound to have missed one. Oh no there we go I have scored <laughs> there we go and we're going to apply some glue to these little tabs here there we go so I've applied glue to all of my tabs including these long ones and I've given them a moment to go tacky and now I'm going to pop my roof on which overhangs over these long edges and butts up right to the edges on these gable ends here. So I can get those into position first. Little bit of a faff, this one. And just get those lined up on both sides. And then you can go underneath with your fingers and glue those down in place. And when you've done that, 
you can turn it over and you can glue these little tabs at the bottom here and these again are just to give you a nice a nice folded edge and add a little bit of rigidity to your structure so I'm gluing all of those letting them go tacky and then I'm going to stick them down there we are so that's my little tabs glued down in place my roof is looking really good I'm not inking this edge by the way uh, I don't want there to be any differentiation any differentiation is that right um, between this section here and this roof so we're ready now to have a look at how it all looks when it's together so bring all your sides up pop your lid on and there it is your shed complete looking great right let's pop that off and we're good now to stuff uh, our pockets with the various things i've got a space for notions i'm not going to be too uh, religious about this uh, i've got a space for fabric i'm going to pop some of those in there i'm going to pop my pencils in my paper drawer don't know about you but my stuff is all over the place i've got a place for fabric um, I've got a place for paper. There's a big pile of paper there. I love that one. Um, I've got scissors so that can go in my notions. I've got uh, a sewing machine. I'm going to have to pop some things in here, aren't I? I've got uh, an embroidery hoop. I've got some craft glue that can go in my supplies as well. And I've got a lamp. And I've got a little bit of wayward paper for my Cricut machine on my lamp as well so I can pop that in there now this central pocket uh, do what you want with that if you want to pop some more fussies or little cards or um, sweet treats if you're giving this as a gift do what you want with that or I've got a little journal here I can pop that in there uh, and I've also got a couple of little sentiments for the side if you want to do something with that uh, you can do write your own little message on there and I've got one that says with love and I've got the other one that says craft room forever housework whenever so I'm going to pop those on the sides of my roof as a final finishing touch Okay. I haven't inked those either. Ink those if you want to. There we go. And the project, my loves, is complete. I'm going to bring all my edges up to the middle again. I'm going to pop my roof back on. And there we have it, the she shed. It's nice and heavy now. It's got the uh, the contents, the lid, the various layers. It looks really, really good. Roof looks lovely. Take the roof off. And there we go. There's our lovely, lovely she shed with these uh, panels underneath with the various desks and storage and all sorts of wonderful things. I would love a craft room like that. <laughs> You've also got space here if you wanted to do something photographs you could if you wanted to print out more pockets and more matting panels and pop those on there so you've got a little bit extra going on there we are my darlings i hope you have really really loved that uh, and make it and gift it and enjoy it and i will see you next time